This is an ultrasound examination to rule out renal artery stenosis. This first image is a long axis view of the right kidney and the parenchymal portion of the right kidney, this area here, is uh, equal and possibly slightly brighter than the patient's liver. This is uh, a borderline appearance uh, and could be abnormal. The measurement of the kidney has has been determined. Uh, this is not along the true long axis of the kidney. It will be longer than 10.7. It's an image of the right kidney uh, in long axis. This clearly shows that the renal parenchyma is brighter than the liver indicating uh, type 1 renal disease. The kidney has been measured. It appears that a portion of the lower pole is cut off by some shadowing from bowel gas. Another image of the right kidney. This rules out hydronephrosis, uh, but does demonstrate a brighter than normal kidney. This image uh, has been measured and uh, this is a, a better long axis image and, and we get a length of 10.8 centimeters. This is a normal length for the right kidney. This is an image of the uh, aorta near the origin of the renal arteries and uh, this Doppler waveform was taken below the renal arteries. Uh, that is why it is triphasic. The peak systolic velocity is 55 uh, centimeters per second. Normally the peak systolic velocity of the aorta will be determined just above the origin of the kidneys in a monophasic portion of the waveform. This is not always possible, however. Is a color Doppler of the right renal artery uh, as it uh, comes off the aorta. This is a uh, Doppler waveform of the right renal artery, a peak systolic velocity of 36 centimeters per second was obtained. Uh, unfortunately, the Doppler angle has not been set and this is not uh, an accurate uh, velocity. The resistive index of this artery is 0.57, which is normal. This is another image. In this case, the uh, angle has been set and a peak systolic velocity of 61 centimeters per second was obtained. Uh, this is only slightly higher than the 55 centimeter per second peak systolic velocity obtained in the aorta and is normal. This appears to be the middle renal artery and uh, we have a peak systolic velocity of 45 centimeters per second approximately and a resistive index of 0.46, slightly lower than the normal range uh, at the lower limits of 0.5. This is likely an arcuate artery measured in the renal cortex. The resistive index is 0.5. 5.8, which is a normal resistance. This is a renal artery in the uh, likely a, a lobular renal artery branch, and uh, we have a resistive index of 0.45, slightly lower than normal. This is an image of the left kidney. This kidney appears echogenic and uh, multiple calcifications can be seen. These are likely vascular uh, uh, within the kidney. The length is 11.2, slightly bigger than the right kidney, which is typical and normal. 
is 11.5 centimeter length. Again, uh, normal length of the left kidney. Uh, we don't have a spleen in the image to compare the echogenicity of the cortex, but uh, it does appear to be elevated. Another long axis of the left kidney. This is a likely an arcuate artery uh, in the uh, renal cortex on the left, and a resistive index of 0 0.50 was obtained. This is a normal resistive index. There's a sharp upstroke on this waveform. This was also seen on the right side, and this uh, indicates normal blood flow. A nice dichrotic notch can be seen in two of the waveforms, again indicating normal blood flow. This is a lobular branch, and uh, we have a resistive index that's slightly less than normal at uh, 0.44. This is an image of the uh, left renal artery uh, near its uh, termination point in the uh, renal pelvis. Here's a Doppler waveform of this artery. We get a peak systolic velocity of 39 centimeters per second, less than the peak systolic velocity found in the aorta, which was 55 centimeters per second. Another image of the uh, left renal artery, uh, the peak systolic velocity in this case is approximately 45 centimeters per second. The resistive index is 0.48, slightly less than the 0.5 cutoff for normalcy. And one more image of the uh, renal artery, and uh, this Doppler waveform gives a peak systole of, point, or, uh, of 63 centimeters per second, slightly greater than that found uh, for peak systole in the mid aorta, but in good agreement with the velocities on the right side. There's a very sharp upstroke. There's a pre-dichrotic notch visualized in this waveform, which is a sign of normalcy. The exam is uh, suboptimal, but uh, clinically adequate, and there is no evidence of renal artery stenosis. The increased echogenicity of the kidneys uh, and the lower resistance may indicate the presence of medical renal disease.